Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic, episode 18. How are you doing today, Chiva? I'm sensational. You're, all right, didn't have to say it that <laughs> way. Uh, but today we do have a couple of things to go over. It's a pretty heavy week. We're going to have to talk about what's going on in America. Unfortunately, it's affecting yes, everything in, 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 in life and sport. It goes beyond it. Uh, some sports-related, uh, I guess, riot talk. Uh, but even then, we're going to go ahead and go and talk about the NBA and how they're going to select how everybody's going to, you know, what rooms they're going to be in in Orlando. We're also going to talk about our interview with John Barbon, if, if you guys could catch it, and talk about Liga MX. Does Lewandowski deserve the bacon de oro, as I <laughs> wrote it, unfortunately? Uh, we're going to go to Salt Creek and then NFL. George Kittle wants a new contract. Madden delayed. And... Do we want to take DeAndre Hopkins or Michael Thomas? <sighs> all right. Well, we got a great show ahead of us. Let's get started. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, first of all, um, it was a uh, it was a weird week L- last week uh, as far as like the podcast wise. It was it was good. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we got a couple things done that we wanted to. We have um, you know brand new stickers out. We're gonna start handing those away. Um, hopefully soon. I actually started mailing some. So if you want to go ahead, I have the stamps here. If Who you mail want. shit nowadays, that's the sub. I do. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the some of the, the coins, uh, snail mail, style. bro. Smell, snail mail. I've, I've actually written letters. Really? Yeah. That's the um, sub. <laughs> there's nothing else to do, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to so go. So you're handing out stickers like to people, like mailing them? Yeah. I mean, I know there's some people that had wanted some. So I know right now we have a sticker heading over to, uh mike over in, in boston who came up with the oh, logo and then i tagged in there um an, a letter for another a letter within a letter to, okay, to so jimmy conrad it to, like people far away you're not sending it to people here in san diego or anyone sure anybody uh, you know, and you, i'll go ahead and do this i mean the we've given some away everybody's been lo- loving them we love them i posted them everywhere uh mike has one now uh <laughs> yeah we've been putting those stickers everywhere bro. but uh but yeah if you guys want to go ahead and get a sticker let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and give 10 stickers away um if you want one of these stickers just go ahead and either comment on this video on youtube um share a screenshot of uh you watching it or listening to it on Spotify, Am- uh, Amazon, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, and uh, send it to us. DM us, tag us, uh, Twitter, Instagram at Two Balls and a Mic. So chance um, to get a sticker. We'll get you hooked up with a sticker, and uh, very soon, hopefully. Uh, I don't think we've talked about this, but we have hats coming in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check in on that uh, a little bit later. But, um, but yeah, I mean. Yeah. Don't get us wrong. The stickers are way better quality than the other ones we had. See you out though. They're actually stickers, not labels. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, definitely, definitely uh, had this and it's and it's great. Uh, we also had an interview with John Barbon. Um, John Barbon, for those of you who don't know. Dude, super dope guy, man. See you out though. I mean, super it was a chill guy, dude. It was in Spanish. I actually sent it to a couple people uh, in, in TJ. Yeah. Uh, who were like, hey, man, like, that's great. Like, you should come up with uh, content in Spanish. I'm like, cool. And I'm like, hey, like, listen we'll to we'll listen, listen to I'm this. Down. Yeah, I'm no. Fine. And they're like, listen to this. Like, it's completely in Spanish. First thing these fuckers tell me is like, <laughs> where your Spanish is that's leaving. the first thing like, like, when you go to, like, see family in TJ and shit. And like, like, the first thing they tell, mijo, te estás haciendo pochito. <laughs> and like, I said in the, in the opening, like, I heard myself. I was just like, wow. Like, I couldn't get, like... It was a certain word I couldn't get out of, and I was like, "Oh, uh, uh, me, me <laughs> tro- me, me, yeah, but that's what makes it. That's what makes it cool, man. You Absolutely, know, we're, like, we're bilingual. You know, it's it's and uh, it's you know to happen. We had some good Liga Mekis talk, trying to get me back into watching it, into caring about it, and you know what? It might work. We also have this later this week, on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. 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 Uh, we have uh, Cesar Hernandez, Cesar Hernandez. Yeah, another st- nicest guy. Nicest you guys, guy. Ever. Nicest guy ever. Man. Jeez, God damn. Amazing. Uh, Super he nice. chose Mexico in the COVID Community Shield and the COVID Cup and uh, were the tournament sweethearts uh, for that. Speaking of uh, Community Tell COVID Shield. For ESPN, so. Yeah, I mean, the check mark. Uh, he, yeah. he doesn't think it's a big deal, but for those that don't have a check mark, it is. Like, I'd, I'd take a check I want, mark right I want now. A check mark. I want a check mark. Um, but no, and um, other than that, um, you know, we also had um, 
I, there he goes. Community COVID Shield. Oh, Community COVID Shield. Thank you. Um, is going to go ahead and resume. So we have a quarter finalist, and from the quarter finalist, we're going to go ahead and contact you. We're going to go for it, right? <laughs> Whether you realize it or not. Are we live streaming that? We're going to go ahead and live stream that. Oh, wow. And this is going to be on Friday. And on Friday, we're going to go ahead and be on our YouTube channel and just stream the rest of the tournament. So we're in quarterfinals right now. So that's four games. Uh, I think, you know, Paradigm's still in there. We have a couple of... <laughs> we have, Paradigm had Chelsea, right? We have uh, your your best friend, Fabian Contreras, still in the tournament. Wow. That's how I knew. You should have I finally met it. Fabian, guys. You should have... in person. You should have known. Like, that's why I just kept... Egging. Oh, who is your friend? Oh, he's not. I don't even know the guy. Bro, he's in the community COVID shield. And if you guys don't know who this Fabian guy, he completely talked so much shit on, on the comment section a couple of videos ago. Hey, but at least he comments and listens. So thank you, Fabian. Stop making enemies. Stop making enemies. No, Stop making enemies to, to the listeners. No, I appreciate you, Fabian. Thanks for the Venmo. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Uh, so I, I mean, we got to talk about the big issue that's been going on. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you started working out this morning. I did. I am fucking dead, man. But obviously, but it's a journey, you know. It's a journey. I'm not trying to be a ball anymore. Yeah, but um, you know, that's other than you. There's another elephant in the room. Fine. Okay. Other than okay, me, Dumbo. Dumbo. Bato. Who has bigger ears? I don't think I do. I I act when I uh, actually had a debate once, and I went around asking a bunch of people if it's pronounced Dumbo or Dumbo, and everyone told me Dumbo. You say London Donovan, so I don't I don't trust anything. As a little kid, mouth. I thought it was Dumbo. Dumbo in Espanol. I mean, yeah, so you're not wrong. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, you know, obviously over the weekend and, um, you know, starting as of last week on Monday, um, across the board uh, in this country, there's been protests and, and whatnot. And, you know, <clears throat> there's, there's things on here that we're going to talk about, and we'll just kind of compile those right now as far as sports-wise because... It's one of those things that's inevitable to, to ignore, um, you know, when you have literally miles from you. Something happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but even then miles from you, there's you know stuff going down that uh, it's dangerous. And um, but obviously we're talking about the uh, George Floyd incident and, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter protests and um, across sports whatever sports there are there's been uh different reactions to what's been going on i mean all around the world dude yeah it's all insane all around the world um you know i did post about like how usually in sports if everybody across the board across the sports across nations denounce something or or, or start talking about something not being right there it's pretty much a good barometer to see you know socially where you should be or uh, yeah. not necessarily where you should be because everybody's entitled to their own opinion, even if it's wrong. Um, but, you know, they're usually uh, wants to just point out injustices and, and get together. And honestly, um, we wish everybody uh, safety. I mean, I want to say that everybody is has the right intent that's out there. Obviously, there are people who aren't. Uh, and, you know, that's something that shouldn't have to happen. The The looting, the the violence uh that are you know just is i mean yeah. i understand people are fed up you know uh i completely understand uh i mean obviously we don't like to get too political in this show because yeah, we're all it's all about sports yeah but i mean when you got this cheeto head as president it's kind of like telling people to like bring out their guns and stuff and all this like it's it's insane you know like you can't you can't just not speak about it um, you know, and I mean, everyone's entitled to what they want to say. Uh, some people say more than others, and that's completely fine as long as, as long as you're on the right side of the issue. Yeah, uh, and your heart's in the right place as well. Definitely, and uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Even if you don't, even if you're not on on say the right side of the issue, everybody has their opinion that you know. Hopefully, they're open to change once new information comes in. And sometimes that's not possible, but um, I mean the issue could be solved so easily. Just stopping racist people. That's it. Well, I mean, and, and that's uh, that's difficult to, to necessarily do or, or, or police. Yeah. I mean, especially here's the when thing. you're race like that. Here's the thing. Like, I think the the issue is tenfold. There's there's ten different issues within the issue within the issue, mm -hmm. and overall, the thing that I want 
and would like to see is uh, the f- just equality for everybody. What that means is, look, if I get stopped, and I've been stopped by a cop a lot of times, I, I get testy with them sometimes. I'm an asshole. So I'm like, mm-hmm. and I'll hold you accountable to to your stupid laws and, and you know why did you stop me? And, and I'll fight it. <clears throat> but I don't. I personally don't, or have ever felt threatened or my life um you know was at danger or at risk by getting stopped and that's a reality that a lot of people in this country do face and like it or not we will never be able to uh feel uh or put ourselves in those shoes of of those who do feel that way and hopefully after all of this protest whatever happens and hopefully it's it's in the safest and best manner uh that justice is served for george floyd first and foremost but after that, that none of this that's going on, the looting, the, the protests, that it, that it doesn't go in vain, not just for George Floyd, but for everybody after and, and, and now. Because and before, man. And before. Uh, and, and I feel like there's, there's a new wave of people like opening their eyes as far as like, wow, like uh, I've never felt that way. Uh, you know, uh, there's a, in the early 2000s, Dave Chappelle had his uh, stand-up comedy special in D.C., and like he just told a story about how, uh, how uh, he would he him and his white friend uh, Chip would uh, just you know get high or get drunk and start driving around. Cop would pull him over and it's like, uh, "Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that." And then the officer was like, "Well, well, now you know. Get the fuck out of here. Just get the fuck out." And then Dave was uh, next to him. He's like, "Oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that." He was like, yeah, and I did know I couldn't do that. And there's little things like that where it's like, you know, there's... It's a white privilege. It's, it's a white privilege. And, 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 the fa- and honestly, given the fact that we can talk about this and we can discuss it openly and we feel safe about it, um, you know, is, is a privilege in itself. And so people are asking, like, you know, I'm not African-American. I'm not black. I'm not this. Um, you know, just how can we help? And I think, you know, just supporting those who who you know want exactly what you have and i feel like until everybody has that off their shoulders and and Mm -hmm. that 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 weight or that you know they're not in danger or at least feel you know equal to every other citizen and not have to fear police and and here's the thing i have done a lot of reading uh on criminal justice and and what it takes to be a cop and what it takes to be somebody who serves the public um the you, the power of the police you know where it comes from where the people the community the community allow you to have the power mm-hmm. and so it's something precious that you have but once you break that it's really hard to to, to get it back yeah not only that um you know if if we don't trust the police who who do you trust you know the the, the ratios are insane the amount of, of police to population and so i'm not saying that you know i'm defending what happened at all but I feel that there needs to be a constructive dialogue with both sides. And that's it, a dialogue and, and talk um, <clears throat> to somehow resolve this. Um, but again, hopefully uh, with the announcement that, uh, you know, armies might be deployed and, and National Guard. And, Insane, and, man. Yeah, just just stay safe out there. Be smart about everything that you do and, and just be respectful to one another, um, you know, I could care less for a lot of people in this world, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, you're part of the world, you know, yeah, you're, we're part, we're all part of it. Um, and so, you know, so, so, sorry yeah. to bring, oh, bring it down and, I like and it. I like we have to words. talk about it, but here's the thing. It did, uh, rear its head in the sports world in, in several ways. <clears throat> Unfortunately, NFL fucked up. Yeah. The NFL up. has absolutely no bearing has absolutely nothing to say in the situation they should have just stayed quiet yeah if they release something make it simple make it just you know we stand with you yep or uh, yes they and that's it straight up um but the nfl (laughs) good old roger goodell released a statement saying uh the nfl family uh is greatly saddened by the tragic events across our country the protesters reaction uh the protest reaction to these incidents reflect the pain and anger and frustration that so many of us feel. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Sure. Yeah. That, that could have been it. Our deepest condolences go out to the family of Mr. George Floyd and those who have lost loved ones, including the families of Miss Brianna Taylor in Louisville and Mr. Ahmad uh, Arbery. Mm-hmm. 
the cus the cousin of Tracy Walker of the Detroit Lions. So you have people within your organization that are personally affected by this. Yep. I get it. Okay. Sure. Kind of. As current events uh, dramatically underscore, uh, there remains much more to do in, uh, as a country and as a league. Sure. You're being self-reflective. All right. All right, Goodell. <laughs> All right. You could have ended this already, but these tragedies inf uh, inform the NFL's commitment on, 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 and our ongoing efforts. Tra these tragedies inform the NFL's commit inform the what commitment what commitment have you done that doesn't include did, did we forget who Colin Kaepernick was uh, yeah, exactly I mean do we forget who you shunned away from the league who still a talented quarterback man that took a stand against police brutality Exa exactly peacefully this. protesting taking a knee and now they decide to talk Ex yeah and they had this like fucking bullshit man i i can see how like again this has nothing to do with it like a quarterback like cam newton and they're saying like how does cam not have a team how does this colin kaepernick is a talented super bowl quality player same quarterback. style same style of quarterback too same style and 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 young yeah but then he, but he's still shunned. Why? Because you and your owners are too fucking stubborn in your fucking ways to want real change. This is this is Goodell. Goodell is 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 the face guy, it's the fall guy for all mm -hmm. the owners. It's, mm -hmm. it's all he is. And sometimes I feel bad for him and say he has to do this. Sometimes I ha I see the other side of it too. Yeah. But you have to think these things through with a line like that. That. <clears throat> You know, yeah, these are these tragedies inform the NFL's commitment on our on, on our and and what and our ongoing efforts. What ongoing efforts? Your only ongoing yeah. effort was keeping Colin Kaepernick off the a field. Your only effort was having and and having being related to a staged uh, protest, I guess, by having a uh, vice president. Uh, Mike Pence walk out of the national anthem in him protesting people protesting exactly what they're protesting in the streets right now. It's like I told you before the show or I forgot who I told, but like, how do you protest a protest about racism? How racist do you got to be for that? It's just ignorance. And, and it's, and it's, and it's infuriating, especially in a, in a league where, that prides itself in trying to be inclusive and trying to be this. Did we had a uh, they had a discussion like not too long ago about the Rooney Rule and having to have an African American, um, you know, have to apply for a head coaching position or, or coaching position like this. Your efforts, if that's what you call your efforts, are are meaningless, and it's just They're so straight bullshit, tone deaf, man. straight bullshit. Just like it's the the the, the, the kettle. Calling the pot black, something like that. I'll see. Um, and then the phone needs to. So, and then they go on. There remains an urgent need for action. No shit. We recognize the power of our platform in communities and as a part of a fabric of American society. So, if you understand that, why haven't you been showing it? You you can understand all you want, but you haven't actively do it. I'll give I'll give the NFL props. All those. I've I've witnessed uh, play sixty. I've witnessed when the yeah. NFL players come. That's great. It's fantastic. I've in person. I've I've I, I told you that right, Josh Lambeau. No, you know who Josh Lambeau is right. Yeah, the kicker. So Josh Lambeau, kicker for the Jacksonville Jaguars, former kicker of uh, the San Diego Chargers, was drafted as a rookie uh, at the school I was horrible work rookie year. <laughs> Terrible. Um, so I actually, uh, he actually came over with three, with two other football players from the charters to the school I was working at. Mm. And so they asked me, Hey, do you want to stick around and help like direct traffic? I'm like, sure. Um, it, we worked at the same place. Yeah. Um, and so, um, okay. So first one comes in and it's, uh, uh Ingram. No, excuse mm -hmm. me. Oh, Manti Teo. Okay. It was Manti Teo. And he came in and he rolls up in like a cool little Escalade. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Next comes up, uh, some like in a, in a cab. I don't like Uber. I don't think it was that popular. Uh, some big ass D lineman. I, I forget. Like they were not rolling deep that year. <laughs> there was injuries all around. I'm like cool, and then it rolls around. Uh, pretty beat up. Like 2004, 2006. Uh, Toyota Forerunner with a bag on the back window because it was busted. <laughs> he rolls on up. Here comes Mr. Josh Lambo. Oh man! On his rookie year and his rookie contract before he had <laughs> actually played. Um, but yeah, and so uh, you know, I, I'll give credit to that um, because those programs are great. I've seen the impact yeah. that those have done and growth. Okay, like you do, you do do that, but. If you're taking a stand where you're you're so proud of the commitment and your ongoing efforts and and there and you know there's still more much needs to be done. We recognize the power of our platform. Yeah, use it then. Use it for positive. That's not enough. Uh, and then they finish. They finish. Goodell says, "We embrace that responsibility." Sure. And are committed to continuing the important work to address these systematic issues together with our players, clubs, and partners, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. So what do you think Kaepernick said when he saw this? I, I just laugh and just and like not even, not even disbelief. It's just like at this point with everything he's gone through, like uh, anything is possible. And uh, I, I feel like he, he didn't even give a fuck about this. He's probably like uh like worried about the issues that are actually, yeah, actually yeah, matter I, you know I, I, could, I could totally see that just like worried about the like actual actually maybe protesting and all that like i know a lot yeah. of people uh j cole is a great like uh person uh based on the community he's always speaking on these issues and everyone's like oh why isn't j cole tweeting about this what's going on he was out in the streets protesting a lot of a lot of celebrities uh or athletes were out uh Protesting Jalen Brown, uh, drove 15 hours to Atlanta to protest. Yeah. Uh, the Ball Brothers were protesting. Yeah. Uh, I saw a lot of other people. And, you know, for the NFL to just say this and not be responsible yeah. enough to uh, care about what Kaepernick uh, was doing. And it again, it's ignorant, like you said. You know, we, 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 we're not a politics show where we hate to just dwell on stuff like this, but it's a big issue. You're making it hard to ignore when you're just so hypocritical about it. And I hope that there's truth to what he's saying. And I hope that the NFL takes it seriously. I hope you're not going to, but I'd hope to hear not just from players, but from owners, not just from Roger Goodell. I want to see Jerry Jones talk about this. I want to see, you know, if if they mean this, I want to see someone give Kaepernick a job. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen not. because they don't give a fuck about it. It's not. They're it, just it, trying to look good. And 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 see, even then, like I think this last time he tried to to try out, like you know what, it's been time, it's been this, it's been that, and and still, like it's not happening. You're telling me that Josh McGowan, same thing again. We're talking strictly football wise. You're telling me Josh McCown got another job, or uh, Mike Glennon, excuse me, Mike Glennon got another job as a backup, but uh, Hoyer's a destroyer. But yeah, could be the hey, starting you quarterback respect, for the you Patriots. You respect Hoyer, Brian Hoyer. <laughs> All right, uh, but no, I mean you have Cam Newton who's still out there. You have uh, Kaepernick who's been out there, and you know people are picking up Mike Glennon. Um, so you know it's one of those things where the NFL just should have had he stopped at a second paragraph, you would have been fine. And, 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 yeah, I but mean, I mean, this issue is just worldwide, man. You had players, uh, soccer players like, uh, Jaden Sancho scored a hat trick and he had a shirt underneath, uh, protesting pretty much, you know, uh, Hakimi, uh, Hakim, Hakimi? yeah, Hakimi, uh, from um, Dortmund also protesting. And well, we'll get uh, to that how Dortmund just destroyed and 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 how you know it's just yeah. um, <laughs> the only thing happening right now. And even then, I I'm kind of like meh about some of these games, but exactly. Um, but you know, again, just sticking to this, just so we can you know get out of the way. Um, <laughs> Jr. Smith, Jr. Smith is my favorite guy right the now. Homie. He's the homie. Um, this is straight up. 
I fucked up this kid. <laughs> and there's a video. He's fucking him up. And again, I, I was listening to some, you know, uh, sports talk radio in the morning. And, and, and even that, you know what? Like, J.R. Smith defending, great, defend your shit, bro. Um, but they were highlighting how, you know, he was talking about, oh, this white kid. Like, this white if if we are really to to move forward with something positive both sides and i'm not saying both sides are guilty no 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 no. both sides have to put their stuff down have a mature conversation not white boy this white boy that no Mm -hmm. you're a person you're a human being you're this you have your thoughts your feelings everything cool go for it like let's let's differentiate that's fine but let's do it in a respectful manner and um all props to for him, I would do the same straight up. If, if yeah, there was looters window. outside, yeah, no, hell no. Like, uh, and I, the, the I thing what sucks that. about all this is, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a very small number of people that are looting and breaking stuff. That's making the peaceful protesters look yeah. good, and it sucks because people are saying, "Oh, this 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 little amount of people are uh, is the reason why Trump is gonna put the nation." Uh, the what's it called then the guards the national guard national guards the military because of, because of this violence but why can't they say so if, if they're comparing this small amount of people and making everyone look bad why do they keep saying just because of a few bad cops doesn't make all cops bad exactly and that like that's really that's you know again you're you're being hypocritical there if you're using literally the same argument against exactly yeah so i mean I mean, what we can do, and honestly, um, there's 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 a lot of ways that we can help this, not necessarily by being out there and protesting. Again, there's a goddamn pandemic going on. Like, yeah, yeah like, I mean, what the fuck? Um, and, and I'm not, and those people who are out there protesting peacefully, you know, great on you. And even if you are protesting peacefully, you're risking your life, not just because of the protest, but because there's a pandemic outside and, yeah. and you know, this is not going to help that second wave of coming by. Hopefully everything works out for the best, but, um, you know, just stay safe. There are a lot of, uh, you know, we do have people who listen in Colorado and in Boston and stuff and not just here in San Diego, but here mm-hmm. in San Diego, um, you know, in social media, uh, who's been doing a better job at covering any of this than, you know, the actual news. Yeah. Um, by far there's websites and there's GoFundMe set up for, uh, for uh, bail money for for protesters who were protesting peacefully. I, saw, I love how a lot of lawyers are actually putting out their information that they'll take cases pro bono. And that's and that's, that's what it's going to take, great, man. man. Like that's like great. it's a united effort against everybody. And you know what? Like people people point out the fact that well, what where were these, you know, police officers and, and where was this military equipment back when the reopen of California, reopen America with actual live ammunition rifles? Yeah, like. Where was all of this back then? And so that's one of the things that, you know, you'd want to see change as far as, you know, I, I don't want, I wouldn't want like SWAT people on like open up America people, but just don't do it. Just be there. Like there was a lot of videos came out, you know, of, of terrible things happening here in, in La Mesa. Like it burned uh, downtown. Yeah. I was watching, I was watching this guy. So uh, I know tangent from sports, but this was almost like a sporting event, not disrespecting the, the cause or anything, but the unknown of what was happening next. There was this guy who's uh, live streaming on Facebook for five hours. Uh, shout out Arturo. What was his name? Gonzalez, I think. Yeah. Um, and so this kid was just walking by, just didn't loot, didn't do anything, uh, just recording and stuff. And yeah. so uh, he was being peaceful about everything. You, on the live, you saw somebody snatch his, uh, his fanny pack with all the shit in there. Wow. And, you know, he was like, uh, he was a quote, quote. Yeah, it's a black guy who sold it. It's a black guy who did this. And then he was upset. He's like, dude, like, what the hell? Like, I'm here for you. I'm here to help, trying to, trying to help you. And, and eventually, like, 10, 10 minutes after that, like, you just see this. Uh, it was like at midnight here at downtown San Diego. The SWAT team just just cornered them and just oh, put them man. on their bellies and just you know it's 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 crazy what's going on out there. Just so just if just be safe. There's different ways to protest. Uh, uh, by be careful being with that there. curfew. Uh, the There's curfews. Respect the curfew. I mean, if even if there wasn't, you should be staying. Even home. if it's bullshit. But even here's if the thing. it's trying to people trying to control it, man. Yeah, be careful out there. So we use the wide lens, so we're farther apart than it looks. One, yeah. two. You hand me that, those disinfectants. 
Yes, sir. Just three. We got. We got. Oh. I I clean here. I disinfect everything. And four. Next week we become essential workers, so we're gonna be this close apart at work, anyways. Yeah, so. man. I'm excited to go back to work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm tired of being home. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it does suck, but we got more sports to talk about. Yes, and actually, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick one. Actually, well, actually, we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, what happened last week, and we had. A great interview with the great John Barbon. And hmm, I think I pressed something I shouldn't have. Yeah, but we're fine. We're recording still. So. Awesome, possum. Uh, so, yeah, so last week we had an interview with John Barbon, uh, who is a uh, personality online and uh, very co- well connected in La Liga MX. 100K followers. 100K followers. He's come a long way with his social media. Yeah. And it's someone that I respect because. Can 100k followers mm-hmm. that's that's a milestone right there uh but dude he's honestly he's such a chill guy and knows his shit yeah about the issues going on about everything about the league of and i mean we did ask him everything about like like you know how do you feel about the league canceling mm-hmm. he, he said he was okay with it yeah and i mean because it is the it's the player safety first mm-hmm. for players families everyone that's involved in the game it's their safety first. Exactly. And, and again, not even that. We were talked about, you know, the people who are there, the athletic directors, the, the, the coaches. You know, they're not the youngest out there. And um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> living a life of rock and roll sometimes as a player, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll catch up to you. And, and, yeah, so, you know, Liga MX, and we asked, like, should uh, – and then we asked, should uh, La Liga – La Copa? Yeah, should the Copa MX uh, still take place? And – kind of did say that it should because that's more easy to control it's just one game i mean it could literally be played anywhere that's safe or safer than other places Mm -hmm. uh but other than that like i mean the guy was great you know he answered a lot of questions that we had yeah and we're actually gonna hear exactly what we talked about as far as la copa mx Sí, fíjate que ahí no lo veo tan complicado. Si haces los exámenes pertinentes y así, uh-huh. eh, si lo juegas en una situación en la que esté todo controlado y todos protegidos, me parece bien. Pero abrir toda la liga es muy complicado porque no nada más se mueven los jugadores, se mueve toda la gente que, que está alrededor de, de los estadios. Eh, es, es mucha, mucha cosa, ¿no? O sea, creo que sí es viable hacerlo como lo hace... Lo hacen en Europa, pero en el momento adecuado. So, yeah, he was just... The Mexican, the Mexican accent is so dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you speak it properly and fluently, it sounds so dope. I mean, I, I could have done that, but I sound boring. Like, <clears throat> hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está, señor? Uh, yeah, subas, that's, that's, more, that's, more like, that's more like a um, commercial type of voice. Ya, <laughs> ya. Um, <laughs> but no, so to translate uh he was we asked him if uh the copa mx cup should go forward he said you know if you do all the pertinent exams and everybody's tested um and we'll ask caesar about this uh on our interview too and probably play this for him see what he thinks about it um but mls hasn't been canceled yet right uh no it hasn't been canceled but just like uh baseball which we'll get to a little bit a bit in a bit yeah um they're still negotiating how they want to come back but as far as Lega MX, you know, it is one game. And uh, the difference between us here and, and Mexico, and, <clears throat> and we talked about in that interview too, check it out on Spotify, YouTube, and uh, Apple Podcasts, is the fact that he was saying they don't know what information is true or not. Like here yeah. in the States, we know what the facts are. There's two sets of facts, depending on how you see things. Our president's crazy. But, <laughs> um, you know. But at least there's facts uh, over there. There are none. Nobody yep. knows like what's this, what's that, um, and so that, man. you know they're in a different part uh, of this whole process. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they will hopefully, if they do go forward with it, make sure everybody's been tested. And I think it's possible. Uh, maybe not now, a little bit later in the summer, since it is one day. But um, you know he. He was very okay with La Liga and Mekis being canceled. And so... Um, and I agreed with him. Yeah. I agree. Um, but 
there are uh, announcements for leagues coming back, though. And so we, across Europe, or across where? Europe, um, yeah. Premier so, League's coming back. That means Liverpool's gonna get to hold that title. For Liverpool, the first time. who took a pretty pretty cool picture. Um, oh yeah, everyone kneeling down. again. It's it's across the world, man. Yep. Um, and so they announced that they're gonna go ahead and be returning. Uh, the UK government has said that they're going to be returning on June something. It's in June. Yeah. I just I want to make sure it's um, the right date. Um, so 17th. the 17th of June will and it's been confirmed. I think they did a round uh, tests, uh, another round of testing and zero players. And, and staff tested positive for yeah, Corona. La Liga is coming back a week earlier from that. Yeah, so La Liga is coming back with the first game. Um, the 11th? It's going to be uh, do, 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 June 20th. June 20th. Okay. So June 20th, they're coming back, and I think Madrid is playing like Ibar or something. Um, and that's going to be the first game back. But uh, it's good that everything's coming back, but I guess there was... Uh, comments made by um, Barcelona, Barcelona, Barcelona coach. John Gaspar, and he said, uh, "If uh, Real Madrid would have been would have finished at the top of the table before the quarantine happened, La Liga would have finished and they would have gotten the title." That's a bold statement to make, you know, because uh, you can make the argument that La Liga prefers Madrid, but you can also make the argument that. Uh, UEFA prefers Barcelona. UEFA Lona, bro. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, to, for him, for him to say, "Oh, the league prefers Madrid," bro. The whole confederation, I guess we call it, UEFA, like yeah. prefers you. Uh, so I don't think I don't think it's true. I don't think it would have ended and giving Madrid the title. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I actually, I actually think they would have. Really? Uh, yeah, I think they would have because. Uh, they did a poll um, not too long or maybe a while back um, about I mean, like, you, the referees. You, you, you can't you can give the title when the, the points are so close. Uh, that's I, what, uh, I guess you can't give it, but but I think there would have been a push for it a little more. I mean, they did, they did it in the Netherlands. Um, but yeah, there was a there was a ESPN article um, came out May twenty second and saying ninety percent. Of La Liga refs support Real Madrid, actively support. Granted, it's the biggest club, it's the biggest everything. Of course, you're gonna have it. But Is that a fact, though? Yes, I mean, if you if you say ninety uh, percent, okay, okay, say say they do. I mean, we gotta be honest. Referees have favorite teams. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they definitely. like sports too. And I mean, you can't blame them for liking Real Madrid, which is one of the biggest soccer clubs in the world. At the end of the day, they're going to be professional in their job. Yeah. And they're not going to favor Real Madrid. So in this article, it says former referee Eduardo uh, Iturralde. So 10% goes for Barcelona. Has claimed that 90% of match officials in Spain support Real Madrid and the other 10% lean so towards other Barcelona. Teams. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that how it generally is? Like when we watch La Liga, I'm not going to sit down and watch a Sevilla versus fucking Atletico, Valladolid. Atletico is still a big club. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But like. Compared, like, mm, yeah, I, yeah no. I get it, I get it, but still, man, I don't know. Uh, I mean, at, at the end of the day, as long as it's not affecting their their, their in game decisions, yeah, uh, then it shouldn't be a problem. And uh, he did say that the majority of referees are Madrid supporters uh, back in 2014. Um, but then he also added, We don't come from Mars, you become a referee because you like football, and there's no one. Uh, that likes football that doesn't have a team. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, like look at we're we're, we're trying to, we're trying to uh, become I mean commentators or podcasters or, or whatever you want. But well, then at the end of the day, we have our favorite teams. Yeah, definitely. Like there but, is a bias. But, but yeah, there, you gotta be make sure you're not biased. Like I can sound unbiased, but you know, it's uh, like you're how always gonna it. have that whole like chelsea over man you and that's why i like uh, like world cup tournaments because whenever yeah. you watch listen to the commentators like martinoli loses his shit oh man like the doctor el Jorge, that's why i, I like love them. watching azteca yeah with, with selección like oh I, it's the best I, I feel like they care more about it 
when they lose. And like then when the other team like, scores, it's it's so funny because Martinez is like, yeah. gol de Estados Unidos. Yeah, le cayó. Yeah, vámonos, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the Univision guys who are a bit more professional that still says the goal for the other team. I mean, I I, I like the bias when I'm watching a Mexico yeah, game. Yeah, definitely. I, I, and see, the Telemundo has to do that because... They don't have just have Mexicans. It's, it's Colombians, yeah. Yeah. Costa Ricanos. Uh, but Dolores. you know what? I hate it when I'm, when I'm watching a Chivas game on Televisa against America because they were on Televisa oh, yeah. like for America. Yeah. And they would trash Chivas and that would bother me so much. And I'm like, man, how are you, how are you doing this job and being so biased? There was at the end of the day, it, it, it's, it's sports. It's fun. Uh, as long as you don't, the referees don't make bad decisions because yeah. of the favoritism. Then it shouldn't be a problem. And if they do, well, don't. Um, wow! Imagine NFL refs. Yeah, I mean uh, it, it's wow. true. Like you have NBA to, refs. So NBA's refs are actually pieces of shit. Um, yeah, they do suck. Joey Crawford. I, I know there's a lot of people listening right now that just heard that name and shudder and are angry <laughs> and are about to go downtown and loot because of uh, they heard the name uh, Jer- uh, Joey Crawford. Uh, don't do that. But um, don't do that. But yeah, so yeah. I mean, across the board, there has to be some sort of you know bias. But you have to be able to try to be unbiased. I could try to be unbiased. Like if I really have to, like just 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 shut it down. And if and if you're not capable of doing that, then you shouldn't be in that position. And you know, mm-hmm. just just don't ruin just don't ruin the game for that. Um, but yeah, interesting how how those things uh, come about. Uh, still haven't heard anything from uh, USL. Still waiting on uh, UPSL. See you, Ato. Apparently, man. the way I wanna you go, I want to go back to a loyal game, man. Uh, the way you did that, you you wear your watch on the right hand. I don't actually. Okay, I don't wear watches, but okay. When I do it, when I do it, man. Okay, that was weird for you. Okay, um, but yeah. So hopefully, we can get some updates on those soon. Um, Bundesliga. Uh, Bundesliga. So. Again, we talked about it a little bit. Bundesliga came back. Um, there's the, the whole league's back, but it doesn't feel like it because there's only two teams that really you know, matter at this point. And even then, I don't think it matters that much because Bayern is just steamrolling. Bayern 5-0. Can I just say Davis killed it in that game? I actually watched it. Davis, yeah. like I've been saying, 19-year-old left back, Canadian, coming from the MLS, fucking killing it at the Bundesliga. Yes, he's in the best club. Competition is not the toughest, but for him to be killing it and playing great with these players, yeah. Uh, I saw Mueller talk. They asked him about Davis, and he's like, you know, he's like he's like the roadrunner. He just goes me 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 and vroom. <laughs> so, dude, did, like, is he, did he that fast? Did he really do that? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm he did. Look, that up. <laughs> look it up, man. It, it was hilarious how he talked about it. Uh, but yeah, so Bayern went up five zero against Dusseldorf, um, and then I. Kept me thinking as far as like, you know, this whole year is going to be weird with awards and, and all that stuff. Uh, I imagine that there's still going to be a Ballon d'Or or um, at the end of, of this year and a Puskas and everything. But it's going to be skewed. And yeah. I really think that the way Lewandowski has been playing before all of this and has continued to just steam steamroll, uh-huh. I think he deserves to be a top three Maybe, maybe even possibly win the Ballon d'Or. Oh, uh, for sure, but he won't because it's biased. Uh, I mean, definitely, but he probably might be top three. Um, who? who I mean, obviously Messi, Ronaldo. That's just that's just there. Um, but even then, if you check uh, how many goals uh, they they have. How many? Let's find out. Uh, Come on. It's a hard stat to find. It'll give you. Don't break it down to me. All time. It'll give you. Don't break it down to me. Here. Hey, man. I I did this the other day. Watch, watch, watch. And and it led me somewhere else. How many goals does Messi have this year? So he Lionel Messi has 19 goals this season in La Liga, where I know uh, Ronaldo has 21, and yeah. uh, Estebato is now up to 29. Yeah, I mean, I can I can see that. What? 
But okay. I mean, I can see, I can see your argument being made for Lewandowski, uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, twenty nine goals in the it's, season. It's, the gonna, it's gonna be given Ronaldo and Messi are gonna be up there. Mm-hmm. And can you really say Mbappe? Can you really say Neymar? No, no. Then, but then, then who's who's there? But you I mean you still got Salah, you still got Sadio Mane, you still got um, someone from Liverpool because they have had a great season. So, so I think they they go with Salah. So, I think Manes has had the better season over Salah, though. So, would you include both of them in the top five? Because that seals your top five. Yeah, I mean, I mean, again, you can't uh, undo what uh, Van Dijk does on defense. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, but uh, yeah, Lewandowski. I mean, he's already thirty. He does deserve to. At least be in the top three. Let's see. If Look. So, yeah. Uh, we're hearing feeling. Mueller talk about Davis now. So are going to talk over Mueller? No, I'm just telling we people have to, over uh, here. Go forward, but I think it looks better than before. Just finally, you ran a hell of a lot today. So too did Alfonso Davies, as ever. Every Alfonso. time that it looks like the opponent's about to score, you can kind of just hear him scream. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, Alfonso, uh, yeah, is a, is a player with a lot of heart and uh, with a lot of power, uh, with extreme power. Uh, sometimes maybe he has not the, uh, the best position on the field, but uh, he, he gets the opponent uh, when he thinks, oh, I have time, I have time, and then meep, 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 the roadrunner, <laughs> the Spain roadrunner comes ahead and, uh, and uh, steals the ball. So, me, 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 me. Yeah, dude, I mean. Roadrunner, he gets the opponent. <laughs> I gotta uh, get that thing, oh, I have time, I have time, and then me, 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 the roadrunner. <laughs> the roadrunner. <laughs> the roadrunner. <laughs> the roadrunner. <laughs> think, oh, I have time, I'm I have add time, that here. and then me, 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 the roadrunner. There's, there's gonna be a sound on the board now, man. Me, 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 me. Okay, save this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, in. in in other results, uh, I'm not sure that people care about other results other than, I guess, the 5-2, um, five, uh, 6 one get okay, 5-2. Dortmund. Dortmund. Sancho scoring his first ever hat trick. First ever hat trick. Halal was out injured. He was out injured, didn't need him. But again, Bayern and uh, Borussia are just steamrolling through the competition. Yeah, but, I mean, um, we also have to talk about how, um, was it on Tuesday? Mm-hmm. That Bayern Munich played Dortmund, yeah, and Bayern won one nothing, yeah, and beautiful goal by Kimmich, chipped over. <sighs> what like Kimmich is honestly to me one of the best players in Bayern Munich. It's, it's Philip Lam two point straight up. Exactly, exactly. This dude can play right back, center defensive mid. He played center back this past weekend yeah. along with the Lava. They played two players that do not. Play center back, and they had him a center back, and they still won five nothing. I think it's it's like that's how how good just just dominant Bayern is. Where like if it, yeah, if it, if it was FIFA Ultimate Team, Alaba and uh, Kimmich at center back position are terrible chemistry. They give you two red lines. There's not supposed to be there, but you put him there just because you have well, the money too and, and the speed. speed. Yeah, uh, but yeah, with that result, uh, right now the table is pretty much set with the top. Two, I guess, of Bayern in first place with sixty-seven ba- points, seven Bayern. points ahead. Of, Bayern is Bayern is they're gonna win it. Yeah, they're gonna win it. Seven points ahead of uh, Borussia Dortmund, and then you have Red Bulls Leipzig uh, in four, third place with fifty-eight. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach with fifty-six, and Leverkusen with also fifty-six. Yeah, um, but uh, it's not the same. Like I, 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 tr- I wa- I'll watch it, and I, I appreciate that there's live sports thank you for trying uh the fans sounds is a nice little touch um yeah i mean i think but i want to I see how the, i want to see how the premier league looks i want to cheer for my teams that's the thing like yeah. i don't have a horse in, in in bundesliga uh and even if i did it's already the end of the season like mm-hmm. they're just they're just ending with formalities at this that. point uh, same thing with the uh, with the Premier League, but I mean, I guess I'll, I'll I at least I have Chelsea game to watch and cheer for, root for, and scream at. Um, but you know, thanks you for trying Bundesliga, but I wish it's over already. So yeah. uh, <laughs> I gotta. Uh, they have to buy a roadrunner. Oh, I have time. I have time. <laughs> and then, I mean, me, 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 I mean, the other, <laughs> other than that, that's pretty much for soccer. Yeah, 
and so you know it's 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 crazy how much i miss soccer i mean icardi signed uh with psg they did the he, he yeah so i mean uh, with with that i mean just to kind of finish soccer off uh she what said, does that leave mbappe uh not even leave mbappe but that apparently opens up a chance for raul jimenez to go to juventus yes because icardi was a target of juventus and this was a rumor before raul jimenez to, to juventus kind of died off a little bit but it's back on mm -hmm. um you know great all power to him um chingo some america some americanista but it's, it's a mexican playing abroad hopefully he can get some i feel uh, like he would just be kind of like a, a mansuki troll um not that one wow wow uh, breaking news uh your computer died it's here my computer died or it's about to oh thank you breaking news i need that back oh my goodness <laughs> my bad that's um no mike oh no oh no pobrecito. oh my god all right you're just gonna have a seat right there uh so you want to go NFL? All right. We're going to go ahead and go NFL. <laughs> so NFL, a couple things went down. Um, George Kittle. George Kittle wants to be paid like a wide receiver, but he's a tight end. He's the best tight end in the league. Should he get paid what he deserves or what he wants? <sighs> Is he the best player in that team? Uh, Yes. Then you pay him absolutely i mean you have to pay the guy you have to overpay for him like yeah. maybe not what he's asking uh i mean he's such a cool guy so the 49ers can give the kid of the franchise tag um and for a third and final time uh, obviously the franchise tag you don't get paid yeah. as you know as much as you pretty much deserve uh he would receive another 120 percent raise and earn 15.3 million no mess no mess and then 2024 uh when he's 30 still pretty young uh, depending how the body holds up for him, um, he can be a free agent. But that's what four and years ago. He's in really good at blocking, man. He's really good at blocking, and that's the he argument do, why they shouldn't pay do him anything. You 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 hardly have those tight ends anymore. You hardly have those tight ends. But the argument against paying him is like, look, you, sure, you're the best of the tight ends, but you're still tight end, and you're gonna get you're gonna be the highest paid tight end at the end of the at the end of the at the. But, but deal. I, think, I think you gotta realize who, who your quarterback is is Jimmy G. He doesn't have the strongest arm. He's not the best quarterback per se. And you need guys. You need a guy like Kittle for Jimmy G. That's why it worked. That's why they went to the Super Bowl. I agree, hundred percent. Without Kittle, they wouldn't make it that far. And even in that game, Kittle kept them in in the game the whole time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was either him or Kelsey. I kind of wanted both of them to be able to win the, the Super Bowl, but. Um, but yeah, homes, man. so yeah, he wants to get paid a wide receiver money. I wants to get paid ninety million for five years. We'll see if they'll kind of negotiate with him on that. But I don't think they're gonna go ahead and. Um, I, I'll tell you this: I'd rather pay Kittle than Amari Cooper. Yes. Would you rather pay Kittle or Stefan Diggs? Kittle. Would you Kittle or Travis Kelsey? How old is Kelsey? Uh, Kelsey is. Um, let me check. Jesus Christ. According to this, he is 37 touchdowns. Um, <laughs> he is 30. I'll take Kittle. You'll take Kittle? Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, he is. He's, he's that good. He is going to be the the highest paid tight end. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I think I don't think it's it's gonna end up working out how he wants it to. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he is not Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. So <laughs> all right. So Michael Thomas came out and said pretty much, "I'm the best," and fuck everybody else. And then he is. He is right now. He's probably the best receiver in the league. And then DeAndre Hopkins was like. Whoa there, cowboy. What? Nope. Um, and, you know, the, the question came up. Would you, if you're, if you have, a, if you have, not even if you're starting a franchise, if you can have uh, a wide receiver right now, DeAndre Hopkins 
or Michael Thomas for one or two years to get you to the Super Bowl or the playoffs or wherever it is you want to go. DeAndre Hopkins says he's a better wide receiver than Michael Thomas. I think so. What do you think? I think Michael Thomas is better. Why? Uh, just watching him play. I mean, uh, I think this past season he had more receiving yards, more touchdowns. Cool. That's it. What do you mean? That's it. That's all you need. That's it. That's your. That's, you that's your he's analysis. A better, he's a better route runner. Okay. Okay. Hopkins. There you go. He's good at football, and he's better than the other guy. He's a better route runner. He scored more touchdowns. He got more pa- uh, receiving yards. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Who has been for the majority of the time, Michael Thomas' quarterback? Drew Brees. Okay. For his whole time in the league. And then he had Teddy Bridgewater yes. for, for those couple of years. And he still put up the numbers and, and he broke mm-hmm. the record that year. Uh huh. Do, do, do we want to go? How many uh, quarterbacks um, Mr. Hopkins has yeah, gone through? Yeah, that, that, that's and, and irrelevant. Let me, no, it's not. Yes. Don't tell me it's irrelevant because if you're telling me it's irrelevant that Michael Thomas has been receiving passes from a Hall of Fame quarterback, and then you have for, since uh, 2015, not 2015, this fool has had Ryan Mallett, Brian Hoyer. Uh, he's had superstars. I mean, superstars. Like, uh, I, I, I can't even name them. I, 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 yeah, exactly. Fitzgerald, Ryan Fitzpatrick. What do you mean exactly? That's Fitzpatrick exactly. Fitzpatrick is a beast. Did you see him that 2014 season? He was not a beast. When he started to become a beast was when that he had that season with the Jets that he was all giddy and looked at the camera like, oh, <laughs> and he forgot <laughs> he was on, on camera. The year after that, that's when he went all uh, Conor McGregor mode over in Tampa Bay. And then a year after that, he still put up numbers, okay, but he had I'm, James I'm, Winston. Okay, But cool. that, we're not arguing. Cool. We're not arguing. Cool. We're not arguing Fitzgerald and his greatness. Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas has had a golden spoon of quarterbacks he would do good anywhere just like hopkins would he though we don't know that yes now we have we have we have uh we have deandre hopkins now with we had it with uh, watson and we had we saw him what he's like with a comparable quarterback with a good quarterback and look at the numbers that he got look at the stats that he put up look at how he's playing he's playing out of his mind now that he's going to go over to kyler murray it's going to be a different thing. Hopefully, Kyler Murray, Murray slings it, and we're able to see much more of what we saw with Mike, with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. But Hopkins has been putting up those numbers with shit quarterbacks. Absolute shit quarterbacks. Cool. Michael Thomas is putting amazing numbers with an old quarterback. With a Hall of Fame quarterback. Those, the, that still counts. He that was, still he, counts. He was still putting good numbers with Bridgewater. For those six games. I mean, okay. Hopkins had seasons. He's had 11 starting quarterbacks. That's fine. I mean, okay, that's cool. Again, I'm, I'm going to find you this list. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Matt Schaub, fucking legend, bro. Case Keenum. Okay. All right. He developed. But that's for... How long? Not the time that Michael Thomas has spent with Breeze. Oh, what's this? Ryan Fitzpatrick. What came after that? Huh, Ryan Mallett. Wow. Back-to-back Ryans. Brian Hoyer, the destroyer. He had an all right season that season. He came out of nowhere because he was a backpack, a backup. TJ Yates. Do you remember who TJ Yates is? No. Exactly. Fucking exactly. Brandon Whedon. Great backup quarterback. Again. Brock Brock Osweiler, dude. Trash. Brock Osweiler. Okay, cool. But when okay, okay, what? Why are you gonna take that? Uh, why are you gonna take it away from Michael Thomas? I'm not taking anything away from Michael Thomas. What Michael Thomas has do, been done, been doing in the the dome is nothing short but amazing. It's it's Hall of Fame quality uh, quality. I'm not saying not, but. When you're handed the ball from Breeze, when you are given the ball 
every single game. It's not his fault. It's not his fault, though. I'm not saying it's his okay, fault. Okay, then that's. But that's if not... I want a quarterback to start the 2020 season to add it to my team, I think I'd want DeAndre Hopkins over Michael Thomas. I I disagree. I I think I and then I, we're, disagree. I think we're gonna we're gonna keep disagreeing. But here's the thing. We'll let the people decide what they want. We did I this. Mean, it's a matter of opinion. It, it's a matter of opinion. Nah, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's, I'll tell you what, Skip. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a, one of those same things with Watson and uh, Wentz. You're not losing. It's not like yeah, I mean, it's not like you're choosing they're both, they're uh, both Randall Cobb the, and, and Hopkins. They're like, both probably the best in the league right now. Where's Julio in that? <sighs> I, think Julio, I, I think Julio's in the past. Julio's in the past. Yeah. Julio's in the past already. So who do you put next to Julio? Like top five? Is he top five? Because, okay, you have these two, obviously top five. Not in any particular order. Let's just mm-hmm. say top five. Yeah, Julio's top five probably. Um, uh, I, I mean, mean, yeah, I mean, there's literally nobody else. I mean, we have, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd say, you know, even in the top ten, Top seven. Antonio Brown's still up there. Has to be. Has to be. Has to be. And I'm looking at this list. I don't see. I don't see way. Cole Beasley, bro. <laughs> fucking. No, don't make me fucking laugh. So, yeah, I think, you know, that's. I that's, mean, Mike Evans is good. He uh, is. I Mike mean, Evans, but, you know, he gets targets taken away Chris from Godwin. Godwin. Um, AJ Green, injury, didn't play a whole season. Yeah. Uh, I almost traded for him last year in my championship season, and I'm so glad I didn't. Uh, <laughs> you know, who I was gonna I trade. I was gonna give somebody uh, Derrick Henry. Oh wow! Not straight up. There was there was more involved, but yeah, that that would have not been yeah, good. No. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so let us know who you would take if you wanted it to build a team, a Super Bowl team, ne- this season or next season. For the next two years, they're still in their prime. They're still serviceable, very serviceable. I'd take Hopkins. I'd take Can Guard Mike. Okay. Hey, man. That's his Twitter handle. Who's, who's, uh, <laughs> who's, whose story is better, bro? DeAndre Hopkins. I'm kidding. Um, Maybe. Super inspirational story. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but, yeah, hopefully we get to talk about this as fantasy season rolls on because I am starving for stats and losing sleep on Tuesdays for Waiver Wire <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Um, but moving along football, we're going to talk about Madden 21 being delayed a little bit. And they said that they're waiting because they want to put the whole next gen touches on it and they're going to mm-hmm. release it there. Um, I don't play Madden, but this kind of got me thinking like, what, what's the point? I'm thinking about like right. FIFA. I'm thinking about baseball games. I'm thinking about all those, uh, 2K20, FIFA this, FIFA that. Like, there literally wasn't a season. Like, what are you going to update? Like, exactly. how how dare you? How dare you try to sell me? I mean, even every year, even if there was sports, like, how dare you try to sell me on a new goddamn game every single uh, year that's going to be the same thing? But this year, it's not like people upgraded. It's not like there's going to be so much. Like, FIFA, have you checked out what they're doing with, like, Ultimate Team? They're just like, oh, like, what would have been? What would have been Ultimate Team? Like, it's just... yeah. I don't know how they have the balls to do that. And um, who's on the cover? For what? For, For Madden, Madden 20. 20. Is that anybody? I'm, I'm not sure, man. Because uh, Mahomes broke it. It's Lamar Jackson. Wasn't it? Mm, I th- believe so. Yeah. Yeah, quarterback Lamar Jackson. Fantastic. So, <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, that's... that's Can't get I, injured this I, year. I, you know, he'll do fine. He's, gonna, he's gonna, not going to do as good, but he's going to be fine. Um, and so with that, we're going to go ahead and move it over into, uh, yeah, NBA. Woo. Um, so with the NBA, things are moving along. There's different places where different organizations are, but I think NBA is the first one that's going to come back and be as close to good as anything else has been. I mean, it's nothing official yet, right? There's still nothing official, but they're they're throwing around the possibility that they want to have. Um, thank you. 
um, that they want to go ahead and have Disney World be the, the center of it, and you know they'll play there. I know, I know Damian Lillard said if it's just a handful of games, he's not going to play. Yeah, and you know that's I don't the, blame him. That that's the thing. I, he's I, not giving his team a chance of making playoffs. Exactly, and and that like yeah, what's the point? Why am I gonna you know you know lose miles mileage on my legs for something that means nothing? Um, my whole thing, and and I I, I wish this was how it was handled but um i think i mentioned it maybe here just to somebody else but i want the i want the final say as to if the nba starts or not to come from carl anthony towns you know why why you know who that is yeah cool he lost his mom to covid oh okay. like she died of, of of due to complications of coronavirus and um uh, you know if he says, yeah, we can play again, or yeah, I'm down, sure. If, but if, you know, if he says, you know what, it's just not the time, like, like it's very personal to him. Like, I'd, I'd uh, want him to have that decision as far as, like, yeah, like, I think it's fine. It's time. Um, obviously, it's not going to happen. You know, it's going to come from higher up. But, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd want him to be taken into consideration. Um, but one of the things that they're saying that they're trying to do is take everybody to Disney World um, and – just house people in different in the different hotels around and so they're looking at a possibly a possibly returning in july um in that capacity or some some sort of capacity i think it's easier for nba to do too because yeah. um you only need you know five dudes on the court at, at, at once or your team mm-hmm. as opposed to like baseball where you have nine or you know yeah. they're far apart too but uh, soccer, you have 11 on each side. You have 22, 23 with the ref, people on the field. Um, 25 with the side refs. 26 with the fourth official. <laughs> Piece of shit. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I don't talk like that. You do. Oh, great. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so they're saying that they might play in uh, the wide world of sports complex near Di- Orlando, Florida. It's a 220 acre complex that has three arenas. Um, and they can hold games there and, you know, test everybody again, same precautions with everything. Uh, there's nothing exactly on who and know who's going to participate. I know NHL actually said that they canceled the season and they're going to go into this new like bracket style playoffs with 20 something teams. I don't watch NHL, but I just heard that they're, they're ready to do that as wow. soon as it, as soon as everybody's ready they'll start it, they'll start testing, but they're just not quite there, but they already have a plan. Like they're saying, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. Let's go. Um, and so my question for here, like if they do end up going to Disney World and, and surrounding areas, um, what, who do you decide who gets the fancy seats, who gets the fancy rooms, who gets the, the VIP? Um, I think that's the least of the worries. I mean, I, yeah, but I mean, if, if, if you were playing in a team and you had uh, the choice of being in like the regular family room with two twin size beds. I mean, as a player, I don't think I don't think I'd, I'd care. Or you get the suite, and that's where you stay. Ah, uh, shit! I'll, I'd want VIP. You'd want VIP. I've seen that picture. Hell yeah! Um, I mean, I'd want to be in a VIP room instead of a you know piece of shit motel six the disney <laughs> like if you give me the choice between with between a uh fucking mickey mouse vip room yeah. or i don't know let's disrespect the cartoon from disney um who's a piece of shit who's like the worst not even the worst like wow i mean daisy duck disney character daisy duck keeps donald duck on 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 his height on, on you know on a leash on a leash Who's like a, a lowly character? Like, just like, what? Like, why are you even here? I can't think of any right now. No, maybe they're... Disney's I'm pretty not, good. I'm not, a, I'm not a big Disney guy. Fuck you. Uh, anyway, uh, so, I mean... I, Man. Who do you decide, you know, who gets the VIP rooms? I, I, I'd i say, if you're in first place, if you're, if you're the first seed, second seed... That's how the tier list should go. So if you're if you ended the season in, in the first seed, you get the best VIP experience from the Lakers. Everything. Sure. The Clippers aren't gonna be are gonna second seed. Theirs aren't gonna be too shabby. 
But oh, as but you the keep, Lakers are better. But as you keep going, fuck no. But as you keep the going Lakers down, are better. Like I have as a better you keep going down, I have the better rooms. Who, who, who won when they played? You Who's know, had the winning I record? actually, I actually saw that. Who has the winning record? Actually, yeah. huh? who has the winning record this season? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I saw that. Um, oh, wow! They, okay, they, they, they looted. They looted uh, the trophy cabinets for the Clippers. They were all empty. Okay, fool. That was a joke for the Chargers, for the LA Chargers. Okay, fool. It still works. All it was right, a joke man. Joke for Tottenham too. Okay, okay, fool. Nobody's looting Tottenham right now. <laughs> no, but before they've joked about it. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but um. But no, like as you keep going down, like you give um, your just, lonely cabinets, you just take amenities away. Like you know, you get you get the Toto, the talking toilet, uh, oh my in the VIP rooms, and as you keep going down, it just goes all the way down through the last seat. You just get a bucket. I just want to watch basketball, man. Uh, yeah, and they have to get creative with it. I'd love to have the mascots in in the audience. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'd be but funny. the thing is, uh, like I I would love for that access to be able to hear what the players are saying. But you, there's there's too many n words that are probably going to be dropped and and and, and uh, I mean I mean ESP, right ESPN now. is looking like it's moving to a mature audience scenario I now. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind the live sports, but I, mean, uh, I think that's I mean, one thing where you just whew, just I mean, cannot just, just have like, different mm-hmm. games and streaming platforms that mature audience one and then the TV fourteen one. You're asking NBA, whose biggest partner is Disney. Who ed- who edited the shit out of everything? I'm not Disney the one Plus. saying the bad words. <laughs> saying I'd love to hear them. You just want to hear me, bad me, words. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 do that again. <laughs> he he got the opponent uh, when you think, oh, I have time, I have time, and then me 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 me. That's the, the highlight. That's the highlight of the show right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. <laughs> the stupidest thing. To- <laughs> Another news. How about SpaceX? Hey man, that was that again. Uh, in a world where I star for live sports, that was the most exciting thing this whole this whole weekend, um, for me at least. I, th- I think it was the most positive thing this weekend. The most positive thing. Pinches astronautas inteligentes. This was left. They're like, nah, fuck this. Smart, smart. That but then my thing is like three screens. That's it. What my thing is like. What if uh, what if one of them just contracted COVID like last second? Oh, Hopefully man. they're all fine. And then, oh, like, oh man, the, the first, that's, the first interstellar how, virus. That's how humans are defeating Thanos <laughs> with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, uh, I think that's we, we're defeating the aliens. We took care of that already, um, but no, I mean, uh, SpaceX was sensational. Uh, good job, guys, um, getting to yeah. space and staying there. Uh, we're not blowing up this time because yeah, it's it gone. was pretty cool to watch. Um, you see CNN fucked up? No, because I don't watch crap okay well my dad was watching on cnn and they had like the clock on 30 and then <laughs> and <I'm> a, <laughs> yeah, i was watching on the spacex ones he told me i can't believe you missed it i was like no i'll watch it on twitter <laughs> live again, again social media is better than the networks right now man straight like, just up. just just wherever you straight get your facts up. make sure they're facts and uh cross-reference them with the other side and then anonymous if you're truth. watching uh, what anonymous if you're watching Hit me up. I don't think you want that. But yeah, hit him <laughs> up, not me. Um, I have nothing to hide. But yeah, uh, so we do want to say that we're going to go ahead and head down to uh, Salty Creek for the... F- Salty Creek? Yeah, Salty Creek. I know it's not Salty Creek, but I just called it Salty, Salty Creek. Salty Creek. Um, we're going to go watch people play soccer. Yeah, and we're going to be properly social distance. There's all the precautions are being taken. Face masks will uh, be worn. Face masks galore. Uh, taking our handy dandy hand sanitizer, probably. And, and a handy um, dandy roadcaster. Absolutely. It's not <laughs> branded. Um, but yeah, so we'll head down there and just record some people and maybe commentate a couple games. Make and a dope video for you, for you guys. Dope. Um, I mean, I miss watching those videos that we would make. See, wait, back like, when Back pre COVID. Like the vlogs for Loyal and watching Loyal in their practice games. All right, and I think we'll we'll we'll, we'll end up with uh, with baseball and um, just watch it. Pretty much, they're deciding. Okay, okay, I'll I'll, I'll just you tell me if you're you're a player. Uh, you're what position sub- am I? Um, 
the ball is too easy, but but the ball's small, so it doesn't make sense. Theoretically, if you were to play with a body type that you have, oh, you'd, be, you'd be a catcher. My mom. I no no. I mean, you asked me. I'd be a designated home run hitter. Wow, you know what a designated hitter is. I'm proud of you. Um, I've been doing my research. <laughs> I've been with one. Let's just stick you on first base. Um, okay, you're making. Uh, you're supposed to be making in this season. Let's say thirty million dollars. Oh shit! Congratulations, you're one of the best uh, DH hitters. Um, I, feel, <laughs> I feel like you just like looked up baseball terms. You're like DH. What is that? I know what a designated um, hitter is. Anyway, so your season, okay. your whole season, hundred yeah. percent of your season, right, is getting cut in half. Short. Click. So I tell you, you're, uh-huh. I'm gonna pay you half. Of this, you're only playing half the season, but you, so you're only getting paid half. I weigh. No, I miss. I mean, it's fair, right? I mean, it's fair. Yes. Half a season, half the pay. You work for half the hours, you get half the pay. It, I, mean, it, I like, guess. I guess. Yes, that makes that yeah. makes sense. I guess. Cool. On top of that, ah, uh, shit. If we have a season, I'm the owner. Um, if we have a season, and we actually move forward. Not only am I not making money by lack of ticket sales and 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 all that stuff, yeah, but but what you you done? But what the the yawning? But what? But (laughs) that was you right now, Um, motherfucker. But now we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the season. It's gonna cost me money to have the season. Because I have to pay players, I have to pay for travel, I have to pay for everything. So not only am I not making money, I'm losing money. So on top of that 50%, I need 30% off. Oh, hell no. So that's where the players are at right that's now. It's like, it's not my fault you're a bad business person. That's, and, and, the, and you, the players, are saying, hey, motherfucker, let's see how much you make out of us. Let's see how much you make in concessions. Show us the books, mm-hmm. and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Obviously, owners are saying, like, nah, fuck that. Players just gave a um, their rebuttal, like, "Hey, how about this?" The owners are gonna say no, so pretty much it, there's gonna be a lockout, most likely in the. I like it. Baseball, fuck off. Um, I want baseball. Uh, I know you don't care for baseball, but uh, happy. With- I think the lockout would be the most reasonable response, and and just cancel the whole fucking sport <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck uh, watches that there, shit? <laughs> there goes our five subscribers that watch it. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's literally half, probably. Um, if you like baseball, fucking block me on Twitter. Oh la verga! Hey man, <laughs> again, stop making enemies with the listeners. We're trying I to. I love my enemies. I love. If my you want to hear baseball, let me Fabian, know. Fabian, I'll talk with coming you. for you. Um, <laughs> this was a fun show. I liked it. It was fun. Um, I think it's one of the longest ones. We've it's had. one of the longest ones we had. There's a lot to cover. I can't yep. wait to actually have to cover games, not just controversies and and, and tragedies yeah. and, and protests. Facts, and, facts, and facts. Um, but uh, with that said, I do want to say that it's been it's been a good week. Uh, we had good interviews. We had we had an interview. We got interviewed. Yeah, check oh, yeah. out oh, yeah. South of the Eight podcast on on Instagram. Shout out Spotify. David Vega. Shout out. Uh, Check us out on there, um, and hopefully, we get some more news and more live sports starting to come back. Uh, and I just want to say shout out to Taco El Vaquero for still somehow making it work with the meat shortage that yeah, we are experiencing. Yeah. There's a meat shortage, not on us, but there's a meat <laughs> shortage. Uh, so shout out to him. Shout out to uh, Fear Speeds who hooked us up with the instrumental version of our uh, theme song, putting it on the front, and yep. uh, people are digging it. Uh, hopefully we can do this live. We're testing it out. We're actually doing this live right now and having it saved on uh, YouTube. Don't tell them that. I'm just kidding. It makes it more raw and I like it. Oh, God damn it. Uh, so with that said, thank you for joining us. 